Hey, Mega GMs, welcome to Inside NFTs. Happenings from all over the NFT space today include a Stoner Cats update, tons of action in the ApeCoin DAO, Duo Pepin sets revealing at a blistering pace, and a key member of the Artblocks team leaving Web3, now heading back to the traditional world of tech. Let's get into all of that. We're going to start, of course, with an NFT market update. I'm talking about the Forecast 500 NFT index. Take a look here, down just 0.09%. So far this week, things have looked pretty darn stable. Yes, value still lost, but not like we've been seeing in the past few weeks. 0.09, I call that rather flat, so looks good for today. And your top 10 collections on Cryptoslam.io. Some of this is looking kind of juicy. At the top, we have D-Market, followed by the Sats BRC20 collection. That's a Bitcoin collection. Then we have D-Gods, Ordape Yacht Club, Sorare, DraftKings, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, The Captains, CryptoPunks, and Ordinals at number 10. So we have two Bitcoin collections in the top 10. Taking a look at the global numbers that came in yesterday, Yesterday. Sales finished at $10.7 million, up from Sunday like we'd expect. Now, unique sellers, unique buyers, total transactions, nothing noteworthy there at all. I mean, up and down a little in each category, but nothing significant, no major changes. Now, getting right to the news, it's the stoner cats that are at top of mind for me. NFT marketplaces are now banning the collection from being traded. So far, OpenSea and Rarible both confirming that they've blocked the stoner cats trades, and Blur right now has no active listings. Looking over on OpenSea, we do see the collection still on the site, but yeah, no sales, no trades in the past three days here. So effectively, these SEC charges, they're a death sentence for a collection. And I think most projects and, and lots of collectors need to be concerned that their favorite project is next. Now, DAOs have been a hot topic lately. Right now, the ApeCoin DAO is voting to create a sister DAO, and that sister DAO is going to purchase all kinds of influential NFTs, both NFTs from the Yuga Labs ecosystem, but also NFTs from other ecosystems like Cool Cats, like World of Women. Now, this proposal was authored by Yatsu. You know him as chairman of Animoca Brands. Again, the goal is to establish a sister DAO, that DAO with the goal of driving ApeCoin adoption in the mainstream. Looks like they want to fund the DAO with 750,000 ape. And ultimately, here's what they're looking to purchase. 10 board apes, 10 mutant apes, 10 board ape kennel clubs, 10 Mochaverse NFTs, 10 cool cats, 10 world of women, 10 pudgy penguins, and 10 codas. Now, Machi Big Brother also has another proposal. I don't know if it's related to Yatsu's proposal, but he wants to also buy Yuga assets. I'm talking board Apes, Mutant Apes, the board Ape Kennel Clubs, and CryptoPunks. He wants to help put those in museums, maybe in general the same idea. Get these assets in front of the masses, drive the brand, drive adoption to the Yuga ecosystem, and maybe specifically to ApeCoin. Very active DAO with some very, very influential people. Again, will they be the shining beacon of what a DAO can do and how you can actually do it? We'll see. Now, Jack Butcher's Opepin project really blistering pace with the release of their latest few sets of PFP. You have Opepin sets 18, 19, and 20, all releasing within a few days of each other. 18, really cool artwork that came from Vincent Van Doe. Set 19 is created by Jack Butcher, and set 20 also from Jack Butcher. Now, set 19 and 20 are both open at the same time. So holders of unrevealed Opepins, if you only have one, well, you got a choice to make. Which are you going to opt in? Hey, collect what you love, opt in for the one you love the most. That's how it should work. Now, a bit of sad news, I guess, for the world of Web3 tech. The CTO at Artblocks is now stepping down, heading back to his job he came from before getting into Web3. He worked at Google. He's now heading back to Google, but he's not fully leaving Web3. He's staying on Artblocks as an advisor. He's still a collector. He's still a lover of the arts and, of course, a lover of the tech here. But you got to imagine working at Google is a pretty darn sweet gig and probably great for the career, right? Artblocks will be just fine. They'll promote somebody else to CTO and they'll be wildly successful, just like Purple Hat will be back at Google. Good luck to you, sir, and glad you're not leaving the space entirely. We'll be seeing you around. Now we'll end on some non-NFT news, but really, really big blockchain news. Citigroup, the $1.72 trillion asset manager is launching their own digital token and their own private blockchain for real-time payments. What does this mean? It just means major blockchain adoption is coming and really major blockchain adoption is here. You've heard it with all these Bitcoin ETFs that are on the way that are waiting approval. Yes, he would just get out of the way. Clearly though, if you've been paying attention, changes in the air and it has been for a little while now. Crypto blockchain, and really, honestly, NFTs, well, they're about to hit the mainstream. The doors are about to be blown wide open, and it's about damn time. NFTs probably have a longer while before they really hit the mainstream, but rest assured, that is definitely coming probably a few years out, though. I hope you guys enjoy your Tuesday. Make sure to sign up for my newsletter at CryptoSlam. I'll drop a sign-up link in the replies or in the comments here. Now, tomorrow, I'll be back with another NFT market update. We'll talk about all the latest happenings in NFTs. And remember, if it's happening in NFTs, I'm bringing you inside. Until the next time, I'll see you.